Okay, this is test number one uh, with the 1 16th of an inch hole drilled in the intercooler. I'm going to pull out on this road and go from a dead stop to full throttle. And if you can see, there's a pretty good hill here in front of me, so that um, should help the boost out a little bit. Want to see if the peak boost is different with or without the hole. So here we go, right here. value showing right there is a 14.2 right now here's a second test a little smaller hole uh, with the hole in the intercooler still at 14.2 it never did change the maximum value that peak that time was a 13.8 okay this will be my third and final run with the hole in the intercooler we're at a dead stop my current highest value is 14.2. Here we go. We'll spin second gear. Third gear shift. Little uh, traction control there as I hit a bump. Uh, we're up to 14.9 now. Uh, I got up to 14.9 on that run. So now back to the start and I'm going to put the screw in the hole and see what changes take place. Okay, I'm back on the hill. I have put in a small screw into the hole to plug it. Uh, the boost to beat here is going to be 14.9 and I've reset all of the meters. I will note the exterior temperature right now is 28 degrees and I'm going to wait for this car to come by. Then I'll do a standing stop again and start. Here we go. So we'll spin. All right. Looks like 14.9. So, so far I have not beat the maximum boost yet so far that's measuring the same okay same spot on the smaller hill second run currently 14.9 get up to 15.1 on that one so that is a little bit different uh, by two tenths of a pound okay I'm coming out for my final run uh, you can see my tire marks from the previous two runs out there uh, we'll see where traction trolls kind of holding it and making it skip a little bit okay final run screw plug in the hole I did get two tenths of a PSI difference I'm not certain if that's just due to the characteristics of those runs or if it truly did add to the boost I would say that it makes very little difference from this test <laughs> 